Hello again. So then we can continue with uh, uh, creating a terrain. I have opened S2 and here we have our project zero. So let's click on that and we have our start uh, scene. So let's open that and this is where we left off. Okay. To create a terrain, you click on the Create Terrain uh, button up here and give it a name, My Terrain, like as an example, uh, and uh, a size. And I said we were going for, for two kilometers, so let's take that. And uh, those uh, maps should be set to to uh, 1048 and then click create if you hold your right mouse button and you can look around now and uh, we will uh, we can see the terrain it's flat totally flat and has a, some grid pattern on it uh, when moving you can uh, move faster by dragging this to the right. So I've done that, so let's back up out of this uh, near view so we can see what happens. I used the uh, keys keyboard W, A, S, D, Q and E for that Okay, so now we are ready to edit the terrain. Now it's created. To edit the terrain, click on this uh, little mountain here, terrain, and you will get uh, some properties for the terrain. And uh, if you click on the, this uh, cogwheel, uh, we have some important things. Uh, of course uh, you can edit a terrain by hand. I uh, can show that. Here are some buttons for elevate, smooth, step, ramp. If we click on elevate and take a larger brush and you can you can start adding the mountains and whatever you need by holding the left mouse button like this. Uh, that's not the way I'm going to do this. I have a height map that I created by using uh, Raceland. You can get it on um, on Steam. Uh, you can create a height map using other softwares too. Um, so let's go back to this place. I will import a height map. So I click on that and click here to open a browser and go to a place where I have stored my height map. If I can uh, remember that now. Here it is. Uh, two four, uh, two fa four <laughs> sorry. 2K um, bitmap in a TIFF file. It's important that it's a TIFF file. Okay. Uh, leave this as, as it is, max height. Uh, you can smooth out uh, it a bit by uh, clicking in smooth and choosing a smooth radius. Also you can scale it in on height and you, ha you have to test what's suitable. I know that uh, 0 0.3 is good for this terrain. Click on import and uh, here we have the terrain. It looks like this and uh, 
it has a grid pattern on it. So um, this is all for now. Uh, you next video I will uh, uh, put some textures on the terrain. See you then.